Good evening. It is the third part of our workshop series. We are on our road to the wash and go. Tonight we're looking at the styling system. We've already covered parts one and two. So we're going to deep dive tonight into part three. So we're going to do that. Um, just in case you're not sure what I'm talking about, we are focused on making sure you have all the parts of things that you need to make sure that your natural hair wash and go is nice and smooth. And smooth we mean you do it, you style it up on wash day, it looks great for all seven days until the next wash day, and if you needed to extend it past that, it still looks really good. So we're going to talk about tonight how you do the third part, that's going to be the gels. A couple other things we're going to talk about tonight, we're going to be diving into the spring sale that's going on, I'm going to talk about that tonight. We're going to talk about the VIP sale that's happening, so if you're not a VIP member, it's a perfect opportunity to join, I'll tell you about that tonight. I'm going to also talk a little bit more about the spring bath and body uh, box that's coming up. We're also calling it the Mother's Day box. And this particular theme is Femme in Bloom. So it's going to be a nice, beautiful spring theme and all focused on bath and body goodies. Um, and then the master class that's coming up. I'm going to talk about that a little bit tonight also. So if this is your first time joining, please put your name in the comments and tell me if you're new. If you are a tribe member, you're like, mm -mm, I've been here. I, I, I know my way around. <laughs> Just say, hey, I know who you all are, and I'm just going to whip up the comments and everything tonight. How are you all doing? Oh, I see some folks are already here. Hey, Jackie and Tanya and Carla, happy Thursday. Carla, at a quick glance, I thought it said, I, you know, you when you look, you're looking fast. I thought that said happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> I was like, no, that's not what that says. That's not what that says at all. Okay, let's see here. So we got... All right, cool. I'm just going to keep my comments in front of me because I like to be able to see what's happening. Okay, so we're going to dive in tonight. I am going to start off by just going over a couple things. Let's just do some housekeeping. Uh, we've got the spring sale. So if you do not know, there is a spring sale happening right now. I'm sorry, I did not put the code in there. Let me see if I can quickly add it for you. It's spring 23. Yeah, let's add that. So the spring sale is spring 23. If you are a regular tribe member and you are like, you know what, I need to restock some Urban Bella products, or if you are a new tribe member and you were like, I've been looking to try some things, this is the biggest discount I have ever given to non-VIPs. It is 18% off all purchases. So if we have it and it's in stock, you receive eight, an 18% discount. Um, if you are not, uh, if you are a VIP member, you do not need a code and your discount is 25% off. So just a heads up about that. Um, another quick thing, there is a Mother's Day box that's coming up. I keep calling it a Mother's Day box. I don't know if that's the right word, but it's all in it's going to be shipping out in time for Mother's Day. But it is a bath and body box and it's called Femme and Bloom. So that's going to be actually two different fragrances and we're doing two different boxes. We're doing a full size box. It's going to have about five products in it and we're doing a trio, which is a, which is a nice introduction to the classic things that everybody likes with Urban Bella Bath and Body. So you'll have a couple of options there. You'll have two different fragrances to choose from and I'm giving away one of each of the two size boxes. So you'll be able to get the full size box as a freebie or the uh, trio as a freebie. You just need to enter your name. I'll do a drawing and email out the winner. So let me actually put that up for you now. So if you are interested in getting your name on the list to get a free box, let's do, let me put that up for you right now. I finally got the wait list done and you know, y'all know how long it takes. Let's see, let's pull up some comments here. I'm gonna put this in the comments for you all right here. There you go. So that is the link for you if you want to enter your name to win a free one. Now they'll be available for purchase in about another week or two. Um, and those we actually are going to start making before we even offer them. So the first few people who buy them, will they'll ship out immediately. Um, we're expecting about a five day turnaround time on those. So just a heads up for that in case you're wondering, you know, how long will it take to get it? It will arrive in plenty of time for Mother's Day. It, they all start shipping in April and they will completely ship and arrive in the month of April. Just a heads up on that one. All right, so, <laughs> so I'm just laughing at y'all. You're an auntie and that box is calling your name. Let me tell you, it's so funny. I, um, my family, 
<laughs> who's already like, now how many are you going to have? Because I'm going to need this many. And I'm like, who are you buying it for? Well, and and literally they're like, well, two are for me and then one's for this person and one's for this person. I'm like, two are for you. Okay. Okay. Noted. <laughs> Note to self. <laughs> okay. So let's talk about that. So basically go ahead and put your name on the list. That way you'll know once I'm actually ready to roll it out, you'll, you'll know. I am actually going to, there is, oh, there is a gift with purchase with that one. If you shop with me live on the first day, more details about that to come. I'll share more details down the road, but I've got a gift that will come with it. If you are a live shopper with me on day one. So we'll talk about that more later. Okay. So the masterclass is coming up now. Let me make sure I go over my notes. Well about the masterclass, cause I want to make sure I explain it well. Um, all right. So it's coming in a few weeks. The masterclass is a detailed walkthrough of the wash and go. So tonight I'm actually going to pull up some footage, go over in a little more detail. Let me use a different word. I'm going to give you more of a visual representation of how to implement your styling system tonight. It is a teensy glimpse into how the masterclass will be. You will get up close. I'm going to mix the masterclass. It will actually be live footage. You know, me doing actual demonstration on my hair. But then there will also be pre recorded footage so that we can use it as talking points because I want to make sure that you've got very, very good details. In addition, I am bringing on one of our salon partners who will be teaching the class with me. The beauty of that is you've got that professional take, then you've got the at home take that, that would be me at home. And you've got a full 365 degree view and understanding of what are the best ways to approach techniques? So you not only will get me giving you my perspective, I'm going to bring on a professional stylist as well. And I know this is going to be really good for you to hear their take, watch your technique. And that's something we used to do in the Urban Bella Salon that I just loved. I loved having a professional and myself, and, and believe you me, I consider myself very much a professional. Um, I love having a professional look at you, do your technique and guide you because you get two different sets of verbal guidance and instructions. So it's going to be a really, really great class. Um, you can register to be notified when I open it up and it's going to open up here. Did I put any dates to it? Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. End of, da, da, da. Okay. I didn't put it here, but I'm looking at end of April for that class to actually launch and mid April when I actually open up for registration. So registration for that will open up in about three weeks. Um, you'll hear me mention it, sharing a little more detail as we continue to go on. So feel free to post your questions. Okay. All right. Real quick, before I get too deep tonight, let's post up something. So we're going to do something a little fun tonight. Let me check comments before I post this up. I have a quiz for you. <laughs> Yay. A fun quiz, a fun quiz, not like a great quiz. I have a quiz for you all and it ties to our workshop tonight. It is about, I want you to take this quiz. It'll tell you how long you can expect your wash and go to last. Okay. Now, why do you care? The series of questions I, I, let, I did in the quiz and I laid them out because they do indicate a lot about what you can expect. So this quiz will just let you know if you're like, you know what, you can expect it to last a couple days. You know, you can expect it to last a full two weeks. You know what you can really expect from your uh, what you can expect from your your system, your current system. So what we're going to do, I'm going to populate the quiz now. It's just a link. It's not lengthy while I'm chatting and, and, and yammering on. You all take the quiz and then start sharing your results and see what it told you. So let's do that. All right. Hopefully I did my quiz right. I ain't messed nothing up. If it looks weird or sketchy, I'll tweak it. All right, let's get y'all, let's get you all a link to the quiz. So I think this will be fun. At least I thought it was fun. I think quizzes are fun. All right. And let's populate that real quick. Okay. Where, where, oops, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I can see that happening to me. I don't know if it's happening for y'all too. I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. Let's see comments. Let's post this in the comments. Oh, here we go. And then while I post this, I'm going to post this and I'm going to just see who's here. Cause I know I, I popped in real quick and you know, I always just kind of dive right in now real quick. The quiz is there. Everybody go ahead and just take the quiz. Take a little time with that. I'm going to dive into our lesson. I won't get too, too deep before you get a chance to do the quiz. Let's see. Did I post it? I think I did. 
Now, real quick, in case you're new and you're like, who, who are you? Who is she? So you are here at Urban Bella. And every Thursday, we come out here as a community. It's a mix of things. For the most part, my plan and desire is to be here to educate you, providing some tips. Sometimes I do what you see me doing right now, which is a full workshop series. We are on part three of a four-part workshop series. I'm going to go over that in a minute. But what I want you to understand about this company, this brand, is that we are all about you having the right product and the right education that you need for to have your natural hair looking really, really good and to make the process easier. And one of the things I know and have learned over the years of my Urban Bella brand has been around for almost 20 years. We know that for the most part, natural hair is complicated because people don't have the information they need for their specific hair characteristics. We also know that most people, you know, need a lot of help level setting what kind of product they need what's good quality product so those are the two things that you're going to see me always focus on and aim toward helping you really master which is hey what are the right products for me am i even using the right product brand and then what's the proper technique and what am i missing like i think i'm doing the technique i think i'm doing everything right but i'm skipping things and i just want to give you all a tiny example of how easy it is to really come out here and be a part of the tribe and hang out with me and think i'm doing everything she's saying I have two best friends. They're both wonderful women. Uh, they both of them, between the two of them, they have three daughters and they both ask me the same question. So you got what? Five women who use Urban Bella products and they're always saying to me, and I'm telling you, I've known these women for 20, one for 20, one for 35 years. Yeah. 35 years. I've known one of them. And they're both like, why is it my hair doing what your hair does? Or the kids, they'll say, why does her hair have all these flyaways? And we'll go through the steps and I'll say, why well, are you doing a steam hydration? One of them. Oh, we're not doing that. Mind you, they think they're doing everything. We're doing everything you say. Are you doing the steam hydration? Oh, no, we don't do that. We No, we're not going to do that. We're going to skip that part. Okay, that that's where flyaways come from. Steaming fixes flyaways. They're like, oh, okay. The other one. I just don't understand why my washing go doesn't stay stretched out like it does when I come to the salon, when, when we had the salon. I said, are you drying on a hood dryer? Oh, no, we don't even have one. Now, these are women I talk to every single day, every day. They know me. <laughs> they know this company. And they still didn't understand what, it, what steps they were skipping. They were like, we're doing everything you said. No, you're not. I know the two of you. I know you. <laughs> so I say that to say it's easy to miss steps. It's easy to skip the process. That's why I like to go over it. That's why I like to teach it. Tonight, I'm excited to show you some more detailed parts and dive into some video footage. So with that being said, that is what I'm about. I am about helping you realize, you know, maybe you're skipping a couple steps. Maybe you're not really fully implementing it. And that's okay, but it does affect your results. So that's what I'm about. All right, so let's let's see who's here. All right, oh, hey, Debbie, and Deshaun's here, hi and champ, hey champ champ it's been a while it's good to see you out here hi nora and denise ebony said i took the quiz it says my style should last two weeks ebony if you're if you had gotten any other result i was just gonna shut down and be so disappointed i was gonna say oh my quiz is a failure dupe <laughs> absolutely ebony you should be getting two weeks are you getting two weeks ebony that would be my next question same here okay you're getting two weeks now let me say this my tribe members vip members if you aren't getting two weeks, I'm just going to shut down the workshop. We, we're going to need to have a, a private meeting if you're not getting two weeks. Now, you might not go two weeks. You don't have to go two weeks, but you should be able to go two weeks. That's the point. OK, now, does the system say go two weeks? It does not. Doing the system right, you go on one week only or every now and again, you stretch it depending on what your life is. Champ, you can get ten, champ. You should be able to get two weeks. I've seen your hair, champ. You should be able to get two weeks, no doubt, no doubt for sure. So, well, I am so excited to see y'all getting these results. So, um, keep going with the quiz. Keep populating your 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 results in. So, let's talk about what we're going. Let's talk about the the system. All right, so, you guys have the quiz. I'm sorry, we don't need that. It's my little handy dandy pop up. All right, so. The road to the wash and go. We talked about the hydration system first. Y'all over there. There we go. We talked about the hydration system first. The hydration system covered 
how how important it is to build hydration, the fact that hydration builds your elasticity, the fact that hydration is that foundational step. You really can't build anything else if you don't build hydration. That's why I started there. And the beauty of it is hydration is your first step. That's your cleansing and conditioning process, okay? If you did not get a chance to catch that particular education session, please go back and take a look at that live video. It is actually here available on our social media channels. It's available for sure on Facebook. And then some of them are now becoming available on YouTube at Urban Bella Tube. And um, I will pop up our little ticker here in case you're like, how do I find Urban Bella? So this is our social media handle popping up. You can, you can grab that. All right. So your moisturizing system was second. And the moisturizing system, if you remember, started with your hydration system. It actually starts with the conditioner. So the hydration drops off where moisture picks up or moisture picks up where hydration drops off. They meet at your conditioner if your conditioner is of a quality product. Okay. Now that's not true if your, your conditioner is full of silicone. That's not true in that case. It's only true when your conditioner has enough oil and your conditioner has enough of the right extracts to build hydration that your hair can retain and the right oil to help you retain the hydration and moisture you have. So they work together. They're building blocks, one on top of the other. All right. So tonight we're going to talk about your styling system. And then for part four next week, I'm really excited. I decided to add a fourth part. I will add a bonus piece and talk about the importance of haircuts and trims and how they impact your wash and go lasting seven plus days. I refer to that as the Urban Bella wash and go because the Urban Bella wash and go last. Everybody has their own wash and go, their own technique, and there's fun things. If you got a chance to see two weeks ago, Kaya and I showed you another wash and go at her salon. So there's multiple wash and goes that you can do. But I, I really want to say that this is about the Urban Bella technique, okay? And even Kaya mentioned it when we were talking, and I love that she said that because I was like, yeah, there's a specific technique. I had to ask her what it was. So I was like, what's the Urban Bella? What, what, what do you consider the Urban Bella technique? And this is why it's good to have external relationships. She was like, Urban Bella is all about the elongation. It's about really molding the hair. I was like, ah. You're right. You're right. More than anything, though, the Urban Bella Wash and Go is about the fact that it lasts. It lasts. It looks good. It's easy to do. It is the easiest natural hairstyle you will do. Biggest learning curve. But once you have it, it is the easiest and least time consuming style that lasts the longest. Every style we've done in our salon when we had it, we always talked about it as a team. Nothing lasts longer than the Wash and Go. Nothing gives more volume than the Wash and Go. Best technique, hands down. All right. Okay. So let's get rid of that. All right. Where are we? Where are we? I have so much I'm going over tonight. So y'all are still doing your quiz. Let me just kind of see real quick what your quiz results are looking like. Do, 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 do. Um, let's see. <laughs> ah, Simi was the game changer. Let me tell you. If you don't know, now you know. <laughs> I can't think of how to say that the right way, but basically steaming is such a game changer, everybody. It is steaming and then steaming with the right products is such a game changer. It, it's everything. It makes a world of difference. All right. Let's see. Style should last more than two weeks. I agree. I took the quiz and scored two weeks from two weeks from my last watch and go. Yay. I took the quiz and got two weeks. Should last two weeks. Absolutely. Absolutely. Everybody is in agreement. So this is going to be fun. Now, I definitely want you if you I wanted to say this, if you were like everybody's just lasting two weeks. I want to point out to you that everybody on here is like really deeply engraved in the Urban Bella system. It's the technique, it's the product, it's all of the things together. So that's one reason you're seeing that. Now, if you're taking the quiz and you are new, you won't get that same result. I promise you that. If you take the quiz and you are like, you know, I kind of wash my hair every now and again, I mix it up with different products, completely different results. But that's okay because you'll see when you get your results how we're going to guide you and get you where you need to be. Okay. So let's carry on. Let's carry on. So y'all understand the workshop series. You understand what we're going to go over next. Any questions about the first two parts, please let me know. Go ahead and feel free to populate any questions in there. I'm going to dive in to 
I'm going to dive into the styling system stuff. And, um, but I'll, I'll come back, you know, y'all know I'll watch comments. I'll just take a break in between each piece and let's, let's just go and get in here. Let's get, let's get in this. So I want to start off with the first part of the system. And the first part of the system for me is the hair gels. Yes. I'm gonna let that cover up my face for now. We'll just move that over like that. So these are your urban Bella gels. This is the crux of the styling system. It sincerely is. You really, really need to have a good cocktail of your favorite gels and they need to offer you superior quality. The reason why this part matters is because you can do everything we're talking about and you will have very healthy hair. It will be well hydrated. It'll be all the things. But if you follow that with a gel that doesn't have enough oomph and enough hold and enough moisture, the result won't be there. A big part of getting your style to last a long time is how much hydration your gel provides or moisture. So what I wanna do is I wanna quickly walk you through the different gels here, and I wanna walk you through how to choose them based on your condition. This is gonna be a very high level walkthrough. Keep in mind, if you want a detailed walkthrough, you absolutely want to come to the master class. In the master class, we will do a detailed gel walkthrough. It'll have all the all of the things you need to specifically pick yours. Now, in order, and I've I had this photograph done in order of softest, which is the neat extra soft, to the firmest, which is neat extra firm. Okay, so everything in between is just more middle of the road. Neat extra soft is extremely soft you're gonna get very big curls. You're going to get, they're going to be very, very hydrated, almost dewy. And it is perfect if you are in a climate where it is very, very dry or humid, or it is a very cold, cold, or super, super hot, dry day. Think about it this way. Is my hair dry? Is the air dry? Is my climate dry? If that's the case, you wanna lean here. Let's go to the other extreme on extra firm. That's the gray one over here. I need to change my little pointer to a, um, a little pointer, pointer thing. I have to figure out how to do that. If you live in a very humid climate, it's always wet. It's always, um, if you live in Savannah or Brunswick, Georgia or Florida, you're going to find this end of the gels, the, the shine and define and need extra firm are going to be perfect for you. They would be horrible for somebody who, who lives in Arizona, but they will be wonderful for you because you have so much moisture in your air. You do not need any additional moisture or humectant that these on this end provide. Okay. And then right here, smack dab in the middle is Crigel, our, our, our baby. Crigel is truly middle of the road on moisture and it is middle of the road on hold. So with extra soft, you have very, very light hole, very little hole. However, because of the nature of the product, you will have curl definition. You have curl definition, but it'll be soft. Tamu Curls gets a little bit more hole to it. Still not a lot, still a lot of hydration, a lot of moisture, but just a touch more hold than Neat Extra Soft. Crigel, again, Crigel contains oil, so it, it also provides uh, moisture and hydration to your hair, but the hold in Crigel is, uh, is firmer than Tamu. So you're raising your hold level. And as you raise your hold level, let me actually take that down so you can see me. Um, as you raise your hold level, you decrease your moisture. Okay. Something to think about. So as we go up and hold, we go down in moisture. I'm always looking at the thing like I'm talking to myself. You're right there. All right, so I wanna make sure that's pretty clear, okay? All right, let's go back again. Now, ooh, shine and define gel. Shine and define gel, again, you are going higher in your hold and you're going down in your moisture. Here's something else to know. The gels that are softer, have more humectant, give you curlier, more shrunken hair and gels like Neat Extra Firm and Shine and Define Gel, these two on the end, these give you more stretched out curls. So you do get more stretch as you start working with Crigel 
shine and define and extra firm. Okay. Your styles last longer with the Crigel shine and define and extra firm, but your hair is more moisturized and softer with neat extra soft and tamu. Note this about Urban Bella gels that are colorful have fragrance. And the color of the label is a good reflection of what it smells like. Gels that have a products in general that are gray, like the light gray of Need Extra Soft and the dark gray of Extra Firm are unscented products with no, um, what's that stuff? No, uh, like no nuts, no nut based ingredients, things like that. Okay. I want to pause there for a second and just see what kind of questions you have about the gel. Now comment for me. And tell me, especially my two week people who are like, oh, my, I'm, I'm two weeks on the quiz. What what do you do? What's your gels? What do you like to use? Because now what I'm going to talk about is cocktailing and selecting. And then I'm going to go into a little bit of a demo. I want to I want to level set here first. Let's go to the comments. I want to level set here first and explain that how the gel system works at Urban Bella and that but Urban Bella gels are botanical gels, meaning we do not use um, a classic, what I consider a classic or traditional gel. Let's, let's, let's say what a classic or traditional gel is. Uh, I go with Eco Styler Gel, Pro Style Gel, Jam, uh, Edge Controls. Ed, edge Controls tend to be traditionally, it, it's a gel base that's traditional. It is a little bit um, drier on the hair. You have to do a lot to it. Number 10 is a traditional gel. We do a lot to number 10 to not to keep it from being hard and, 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 and really um, counterproductive on your hair. Curl souffle, elong curl elongation souffle is a classic gel. Babasu twisting lotion, classic. They don't feel like classics to you because I load them up with oil. I just want the way the gel applies to the hair. It has a benefit, it's got a clean application but it does not provide that elasticity that our botanical gels do. I will do a separate session on creams. Tonight, I'm just gonna focus on gels so that, as to not to confuse you all. All right, let's see how to, let's take a look at some questions. All right, Miss Sandra, I feel like I really need to learn how to, to do a wash and go this year. Yeah, seriously, I just need to stop being intimidated by the process. Sandra, let me tell you, the masterclass is where you can come in and we will watch your technique and teach you. Now, I believe you said you have been in before and you've, you've been in to see Kai. So there's two places to really, really grow and get what you need in that area. You can always book a hair appointment, which is a brilliant way to learn, but it is really important when you book your hair appointment to request a teaching session. You have to ask for it. It won't happen just naturally. That was an Urban Bella program that I, you know, had my team do. So if you want that, ask that of Kaya when you book an appointment. Now, that's quite a bit to be coming to Atlanta and doing all that. Now, I'll be teaching that in the master class. I will be able to watch your technique, guide you. Again, I'll have a professional stylist in the class. I'll reveal who that'll be um, as when, when the class drops. I'll, I'll share with you who the stylist will be. But the stylist will be there with us in the class, and it's going to be a wonderful opportunity to move past intimidation. That is exactly what that master class is going to do. Because that's how most people are, Sandra. You're not alone. You are not the only person who feels intimidated. All right. Chim has a question. She said, I have two shampoos, just received the Baobab shampoo, and I already have the Rosemary Mint, either um, Rosemary Mint. Are they considered non-lather? Yes, so here's the thing. The Baobab shampoo is a non-lather creamy cleanser, and the Rosemary Mint is a lathering cleanser, and you can use them together. So what you would do, Champ, is start with your Rosemary Mint, and then you would go to your Baobab cleanser and then proceed on with your conditioning treatments or specialty treatments. So that's how you use those. So yes, good question. All right. Ooh, Ebony says, from the classic, she likes 54. Ah, from the box, <laughs> I like Baobab hair gel. Oh, and the keratin babasu together. Okay, so yeah, Baobab would be a medium. And then keratin babasu would also be medium, a little firmer. At least I tried to get it. That was my goal, but it's different on everybody. On me, keratin babasu is more like crigel. So it's medium on me. Um, 
Bao Bob is a little firmer on me. So yeah, it just depends on how you like to cocktail. But cocktailing is the way to go. And we're going to dive into that so everybody can get a chance to understand how we how we mix. Oh, Sandra, you're just starting to do more cocktailing. Now tell us what you're starting to do. I'd love to hear more about that. Champ says, thank you. You are welcome, Champ. No problemo. Okay, so let's talk about cocktailing a little bit. I'm going to pop the gels back up. And then I'm going to start talking to you about, we're going to look at technique. All right. So there's three parts to it. We go over tech, we go over product. We're going to go over your tools and we're going to go over your technique. All right. So that, and that's your styling system. It's actually, it's so ironic. The styling system is much more simple than the other systems to communicate to you, but it requires more effort and preparation for you to really grasp it ironically this workshop took me the longest to prepare for and the next one will take even longer the one going over hair characteristics so that's always kind of interesting all right let's let's look let's look i want to put these back up let's talk about cocktailing so literally when you're cocktailing think of it this way start on one end and then go to the other end because you always want to look at mixing something like your neat extra soft with something firmer like your shining Defe define gel or neat extra firm which one do you pick it just depends on how um your climate your needs as far as fragrance you know scented or unscented but you typically will not go wrong with picking just one one end or the other i'm sorry just picking from picking one from each end let me give you an example of how I'll, I'll take um, something real important to know about extra firm because extra firm is so firm. It helps you to lay down and smooth your hair no matter what gel you use. It's like an extra, we were calling it something. We were calling it like a, we were calling it like a shellac top. <laughs> it is extremely firm. It is extremely shiny. It's got a high gloss. And you could take extra firm and just say, I style my hair with, you know, extra soft all the way through, but I come through and I glaze it with extra firm because I want that super shiny, smooth down gray hair control that I get with extra firm. Now you may say, you know what? I like, you know, need extra soft but it's too soft for me. I need something that's going to give it a little more umph. Like my hair is like that. I need a little more umph than what extra soft provides. It's nice, but I have to bump on up to Tamu curls because I need a little more hold and I mix that with extra firm. Shine and Define does not have enough hold for my hair. So that's where you start to kind of mix and play with the gels. Do you need extreme softness? Okay, you may need extreme softness. Do you need extreme hold? Maybe not. Maybe you're like, you know, my hair doesn't really need that, but I need some hold. Okay, you come on down a level to, to uh, number 54, shine and define. I'll give you another example of cocktailing. It's fragrance helps you cocktail. It's what hold level do you need? And then the other thing too is, do you need more stretch? The more hold you have, the more stretch you have. So you may say, you know what? I need softness, so I can go with extra soft, but I need a lot of stretch. I need my hair to really pull out. Then that's where you want to pull extra firm. So you just want to mix the gels based on what you need your hair to do. Now, here's another kicker about mixing the gels. How do you mix them? There's a rule of thumb. If you put whatever you put on first leads, let me tell you what I mean by that. If I'm styling my hair, and I put on extra firm or shine and define first, my hair is going to be more firm. No matter what I put on top, it's going to have a firmer finish, okay? If I'm styling my hair and I decide I'm gonna start with neat extra soft or tamu curls and then put something firm on top, my hair will be soft. It, whatever you start with leads how it finishes. Very, very important to know, okay? So always when you're layering, I am a big fan of putting on one gel first, and you can just put it on really messy. You don't have to do it all special and, and, and neat. 
put on one and then come back and define and I'll show you how to do this, but come back and define with the one that you want on top and always take a look at the weather. That is a big one. I wish I had to put up a card here for this. Whenever I'm styling my hair, I whip out my iPhone. I don't, I don't have an iPhone sitting here. I can show you, but I whip out my phone and I look at what's happening in the week. I say, hmm, okay, we're getting a lot of rain this week. That means my hair needs less additional moisture because I'm going to get a ton from the climate I'm in. So make an adjustment. Say, all right, let's lean a little firmer because we're going to get a lot of moisture from the air. Or, oh, it's going to be very cold, very crispy outside. We're still kind of in winter, spring <laughs> or the pollening, depending on where you live. And based on that, I need to increase the moisture in my hair. For example... I didn't really look at the weather this week, but had I looked, if I'm guessing, I know I'm traveling. I know I'm traveling to a colder climate this weekend. I opted for more humectant in my hair. So I leaned heavier into my Tamu curls, but I need my hair to be very, very controlled. I know I want it to last. I know extra firm is going to allow my style to look good for two weeks. So I said, we're going to do a base of Tamu curls and we're going to glaze that with extra firm. And that's how you kind of pick gels. Now that's one way to do it. Obviously we need to go more, we need to go deeper into what you need. We'll do that in the master class. but let, but ask me questions. Let me just post your questions and I will answer questions that you have about cocktailing for yourself tonight. You can tell me your climate. So here's one thing I'd love to know from you. What's your climate where you are? Are you on the West Coast? Is it dry and cold? Are you in the Southeast where it's four seasons a day? Are you on the, in the Northeast where it's still truly winter? Where are you located? What's your climate? And then what about your hair makes you say, all right, I'm trying to figure out my cocktail and just post a question and I'll answer it. All right. But while you all do that, I'm going to look at your questions and we're going to take a look at what do we want to look at next. Let's look at the how. Let me say which part. I'll, I'll just walk you through them. It doesn't matter. I'm going to walk you through it. So let's take a look at questions and then I'm going to show you a video that talks about the how. Okay. Tanya said, okay, now several weeks ago it was cold here. So would it be better ah, to back off the lather shampoo plus the stronger gel? Yes, it would. Shine it out. Mm -hmm. Instead, use non-lather shampoo only an extra soft gel. So Tanya, I would not comp I wouldn't go that extreme. What I would do is I would definitely maybe alternate my lather shampoo if it's like extreme cold. And and Tanya, how cold are we talking? Are we talking southeast cold? Are we talking northeast cold cuz they're very different or midwest cold cuz they're extremely different. Um or were you in the LA snowgate cold? Which which one? I'm going to assume you're somewhere on the east coast. Um and if it was a snap of, of cold, you don't have to get too extreme. I would just, if it's just a snap of cold, just adjust your gel. Definitely, you can still use Shine and Define, but what you do is start with Need Extra Soft and then put Shine and Define on top and ease up on how much Shine and Define you use. Kind of basically cut the Shine and Define with a more humectant gel like Need Extra Soft. And just take that one step first versus doing too many things. And then how did your hair feel? Did you feel like I'm making it through the week? I didn't have to moisturize. I'm good. Or were you like, my hair is really dry because last week here I had to moisturize my hair once. Was that last week? I had to moisturize my hair once. That is not normal. I normally don't have to do that at all. I do it on wash day. I'm done. I actually had to do a little something extra this time. So start with one thing and then see how that goes. All right, let's take a look here. Uh, Bonnie's here. Hey, Bonnie. Sandra said, get this, get this, get me. <laughs> I'm adding the neat extra firm gel to my regime than when I twist my hair sometimes. Yes, absolutely. So you are, and, and so for those who don't have any context, let me give a little context about Sandra. So Sandra Twist, she uses number 10. I'm not sure if she uses the Babasu twisting gel or the curl elongation souffle. They are similar to 10, but they are lighter. One is more airy and whipped. And then one is, um, one is, um, well, what do you call it? Uh, oh, like a lotion, like a lotion feel. So she twists with those building hydration and moisture in her hair with those. And if she really wants it to last, 
she would add extra firm with those twists. And I'm not, I didn't get into cocktailing gel and cream. I will in another session, but that's exactly what she's talking about. And yes, that is a golden, golden cocktail. She is putting a beautiful layer of moisture and hydration by using the styling cream first and then the gel on top, extra firm, gives you that long lasting style, helps it to hold, keeps it looking good, and it's a botanical gel. So it has some flexibility. Let me tell you, you can put extra firm on your hair and go to the beach and you'll it'll never feel crispy. It'll never have you know that real crispy like cast on the hair. But put it on in Atlanta anytime, regular, by itself, and people be like, your hair's so pretty, but and they'll want to touch it. You said, no, no, don't touch it. You might cut yourself because it is so, it's firm. It's really, really firm. And when the climate changes, so does the result of extra firm. Okay, so let's, let me double check and see, make sure I got all that. Um, oh, and Sandra said, and I'm using the finger, the firmer gel with my twist cream. Oh yes, okay, yep, yeah, absolutely. And that is absolutely legit. Let's see, is Babasu Cleanser a non-lather shampoo? So there are two, Jackie, and I am so sorry that's confusing. <laughs> there is a keratin Babasu Cleanser, it's lather, and there is a Babasu, there is a peppermint cleanser from the Babasu Collection. That is a non-lather cleanser. It does not contain Babasu in it. It's from the Babasu Collection, so there's only one cleanser that contains babasu it's called keratin babasu cleanser it is from the summer line i was hoping i had one right here i don't but that's what that is all right hi tina tina's in the house all right bonnie <laughs> bonnie said georgia oh bonnie got a picture up oh look at bonnie got a picture up and it's got her real name up here Georgia, all seasons, all week. My combo is usually Tamu Glaze with extra firm. Oh, yes, ma'am. Me too. Me too. That's me. Number 23, moisturizer on cold days times three. Cold days times three. Yes, super cold. Yeah, yeah. Normally only number 23 on wash day with Baba Butter to Seal. That's what I'm wearing right now. I, I have on the Baba Butter. I was so pleased with this wash and go. I've been really messing with it to make it actually a little more volumized, but so pleased with this washing go. Maybe I'll give a chance. I'll, I'll do a separate video and, and share with you all uh, my results when I finally followed the instructions I gave myself and what I what I noticed about it. All right. So let's see. All right. And Jackie wants to know, can you use Babasu and Rosemary Mint Cleanser? I'm asking because I'm low on classics. Yes, absolutely. You can use all your things, Jackie. You're good. Um Use all your products, enjoy them. You're not going to go wrong with any of your Urban Bella products, whether they're seasonal specialty items or whether they're classics. I always like to emphasize how important the classics are because that's what's always available. And that's what, if you're new to Urban Bella, you don't even probably know what we talk about when we start talking about vault products. Um, they're available, they will be available on subscription again later in the year, but they are not items you can go to the website and buy right now. And a lot of times when you're trying to figure out what your hair needs and what it's doing, like I was saying last week, go back to base camp. But if you're out of base, you know, you're number seven, you're number four, but you've got, you know, Babasu, you've got the peppermint cleanser from fall 2021. Oh, use it. Absolutely. If you've got Bob Bob cleanser, absolutely use it. Go, go for broke. Yes. So you're good. It does not matter what Urban Bella products you have. I highly recommend use all of them. Use them up. Blow through them. Go right ahead. You don't have to save anything. <laughs> not at all. So use it all. And you can't go wrong. Just make sure you have a balanced system. The most important thing is to start with you. Make sure you have a lather cleanser. Make sure you have a creamy cleanser. Make sure you have a regular conditioner, just something to throw on, detangle and steam with. And then you've got a specialty treatment, whether it be the Sanminos, whether it be the keratin, whether it be the organic coconut cream repair mask, five vitamin. Each of those has a different treatment in it and does something different to the hair and benefits people differently. So, and if you're, you're not sure what I'm talking about, go back and watch the building your hydration system. And Jackie, that would be a good one to take a look at again. Take a look at my hydration system building guide and let that guide you to say, oh, I've got keratin babasu cleanser, which is lather. And I've got baobab cleanser, which is creamy non-lather. So I'm good. I've got my two steps 
the first two steps in that system. All right, so let's see. Let's let's get to some video footage, y'all. Let's talk about what it is. Let's go to some tools. So when we start talking about tools, you need a couple things. I got this bad, bad boy up first, the parting comb. The parting comb is such a critical part in making sure you take your time and really execute your technique well. Now you're about to see some footage where clearly I did not use a parting comb. I was rushing, which makes no sense because this video is for training, but is what it is. The point of the, the footage will help you with what you need help with. The parting comb helps you not take sections that are too big. When your sections are too big, you end up not applying your gel well. I don't have an example of not applying gel well. I have to record some footage with that. And unfortunately, I have cut my hair, so it has makes it makes it a lot more complicated to do. But I'll find some time and I'll do it wrong. And I'll make sure that I have footage for that for you all. But the parting comb is one of your most critical tools, okay? So let's dive into, so that's the parting comb. Now let's go into the curl defining comb. So here's some footage. Let me move this up so you all can see it. So this is the curl defining comb. So this is the second tool that's very important. You have to forgive how quickly I am combing through my hair. Um, I'm not hurting myself because I'm very tender headed. So I'm taking, I'm, I'm good. This hair's already been detangled. Now the point of this comb, there's actually gel on my hair. I'm making sure that my hair is not tangled up in, it, in itself even after detangling. And I'm actually combing gel through my hair. I'm making sure I can easily get the gel on my hair from root to end. And I'm making sure that on this next step, this process is easy for me. All right. So let me take that down. Is this a technique and a part that you all do? I've covered it a few times and said, hey, by combing through your hair with your curl defining comb first, you are really helping to elongate your hair. And I have more footage of me doing that. I just pulled that simple clip for reference so you would understand what I mean. And that's what the curl defining comb does. It actually helps you make sure hairs aren't all jumbled up in each other. And it helps you to apply your gel very evenly. So I'm going to go ahead and play the next clip to show you what that comb technique did. So that was gel. And now I get to do this second part on that same section, the same bridge of hair. And it allows me to say, I can do this quickly. I can do it smoothly. I can do it consistently. And this hair is going to come out very well styled. And I can tell you that video footage that I shot that day, when it did, the, did my hair, had it dry. It came out amazing. Let's look at, um, and I've told you all before, it, it doesn't happen for me like that. I don't always stick the landing. Um, and that's just being honest. So let's take a look at, so that's the section I just went through. And now I'm applying the gel. Let me just move this up for you all. Now I'm applying the gel and I'm just finger combing it through. Now, again, that section has already been properly prepared, pulling that gel through my hair nice and easy. And I've got that section laying nicely. That is how you want to prepare your hair, apply your gel. And obviously it's not the easiest thing style in the back of your head at all. So that's why that comb helps me with that process. I don't try to pull gel through my hair that has not already been prepared because that makes it take longer. Now, professional stylists, I can tell you, y'all can see up here in the middle of my head with that Wonder Woman W where I did not uh, <laughs> part my hair with a parting comb. Um, but you can see me pulling that through and that the technique is very, very, very important. It's that get it all the way through. Now let's talk real quickly. I'm going to, I'm going to, once the video ends, I will pop back on and we're going to talk about the difference between combing it through and finger combing. And why do I do, why do we do both? So let's just stop for a second. See if you have any questions about that. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Let me see. I just, I'm, I see y'all's comments before I put them on the screen. Some of them just made me crack up. <laughs> Some said I got scared. <laughs> Tanya said, 
Thanks in Oklahoma. Oh, I'm glad you said that, Tanya. I ain't even do Oklahoma. I say I ain't even say Oklahoma. I ain't even go there. By the way, Tulsa has um, an amazing yarn shop. I want to come see. Okay, the oh the weather dipped into the 30s, and yeah, you Oklahoma's serious. Y'all get like snow. Y'all, you guys get extreme. You have extreme climate there. Then my hair felt dry. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And and I have worked in Texas. I know, I know Oklahoma's not Texas, but. If the weather's anything like Texas, I mean, the, the dry is an extreme dry. It, it's real dry. My style did not last as long. What about the winter gels? I still have plenty to use. Oh, should I use that one for moisture? Absolutely. I always formulate your winter gels. One, two, and three. One, 2021. Two, 2021. And the third one was 2022. Your winter gels always give you um, more moisture. They're designed for that. Now, you can take a winter gel and if you wanted to even add a look now i can tell you winter gel one and two the blue ones you know i don't think you need to add anything to those probably add some extra firm if you want to use them out off season but winter gel three to me isn't as soft as one and two and winter gel three is the five vitamin gel that one to me you could add a little more softness to it you could it, it could it could stand to be softened up even more and the base of it is very, very soft. Uh, just, I don't know, somewhere in the process, it just, it did not, I didn't want it to be like one and two. I wanted to give you a little bit more control. I, I like one and two, but I felt one and two could have done better with the hold. And that was what I was trying to accomplish with the third one. So yes. All right, Marissa's here. Hey, Marissa. All right. Mar Mar Marlene says, hey, Marlene. Can you, oh, Marlene, I love your avatar thingy. That's cute. Can you post on the website a direction page for all products so application directions are always available to us? Marlene, what I can do and working on, and it's a hefty project. I don't want to paint it like, absolutely, I'll do it tomorrow. Um, as I'm trying to post video footage to show you how to apply. Like that video, this one I have right here. Is that seven? Yes. So this video right here, I will try to post this on the actual website. So when you go to every gel page, every gel, you will see this technique and it'll be a clip. It'll show you, um, it'll show you this part as well. And so I'll mix them together. So you got a little finger detangling. So it'll be a full walkthrough. So some things we're working on. Um, I'm in the middle of doing training, not only for the tribe, but I'm also doing training for our retail partners. So in the process of that, as I record things for them, you know, maybe I'll just have some quick clips. I'll probably put them on YouTube, to be honest with you, because they're all they can all be housed together. I know that's not the website, but I can link them back to the website. Let me let me mull it over. Let me figure out how to incorporate it into my current projects. All right. So where are we? I, oh, I'm looking at your questions and your comments. That's what important, very important to me. Ah. Oh, a visual of a dollop. I'm sorry. I'm thinking, this is funny to me. I tried, but I got scared when I saw the hair in the comb. <laughs> you mean in the video I just did, champ? <laughs> you know, I hope that didn't scare you. I have a lot of hair. My hair is extremely thick, <laughs> extremely thick. I could have gone with a smaller section. I will go with a small. When I redo that video, I'll go smaller sections. All right. Note to self, that was intimidating. I will, I will work on that. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh. It just does. All right, Marlene wants an example of a dollop, Qu a quarter size. Yes, ma'am. Marlene, a dollop, a dollar, a dollop is a little smaller than a quarter, just smaller than a quarter. A quarter is quite big. I would say a dollop, that's a quarter. Let's see. Maybe this is a dollop. Let's see. Can I show you that? That's that might. That's a little smaller than a dollop. What? Is this a dollop? Let's see. That's about a dollop. Can you see that, Marlene? That's about a dollar, uh, about a quarter size. That's a dollar. All right. Let's see. Do, 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 do. I noticed you did not comb the roots. I do. I do. No, 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 Tina. Pay that no attention. No, ma'am. Comb through the roots. I My roots have already been detangled, Tina. That's one thing I want to say. So you all who are watching this video, uh, I already detangled my hair. This is not my detangle. This is me applying gel, okay? My roots have been detangled. I'm just making sure the gel goes on smooth. But I comb through my hair root to tip when I'm applying my gel. It just does not show it in this footage, okay? 
So absolutely do that. No, don't change what you're doing at all. So please, yes, root to tip and gently and gently, please. I, it may not look gentle, but I am very gentle on my hair. I am very tender headed, annoyingly tender headed and I'll mess around. I do not snatch through my head rough at all. Like that's just like a big pet peeve with me. I don't even understand why people have to do that. So take your time, smaller sections. I'll come back with some correction video because I want you all to do small sections combing all the way through and I don't want to intimidate you with how thick of a chunk I used but that hair I'm combing is already detangled and it had not been trimmed or cut in a while and we'll talk about that next week about how trimming and cutting your hair makes your wash and go so much easier I did a wash and go on myself last night I think I did it in 10 minutes it was so quick I was like did I, I, I thought I was skipping a step I was like I must have skipped something I didn't skip anything my hair has been trimmed the ends have been cut off so it makes it that much faster. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got. All right. Yes, y'all, because I'm already down to 656. See, I'm already, I'm already out of time. Oh, my God. Yes, Nelly. Yes, ma'am. I had gel on my hair. That, that, this video, this hair is covered in gel all, all over. Yes, ma'am. I am not combing through raw hair with nothing on it. It has slippery gel on it. It's my ends are just tough to comb through my hair. You see how gray my hair is and you see how thick it is. So that's just, you know, my hair. I've always had very, very thick hair with a lot to detangle a lot. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. So yes, ma'am, uh, uh, Nelly gel gel is on that hair. Yes, ma'am. We, we, we're not going to do that without it. I love the parting comb. Like I swear by it. Yeah. Yes, it does. It does. It really, really, really works. And Marissa, why are you on here? Let's chat tomorrow. Let's catch up, please, tomorrow. Let me get you squared away. Um, do, 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 do. What we doing? What we doing, y'all? We're looking at questions. <laughs> Champ said, no, I tried it. <laughs> it was my hair in the comb. Wonder if that was supposed to happen. Champ, I'm not sure what you mean. Get, let me, let me have that again, please. And Champ, I have what you want. I just had to get everybody taken care of. I'm so sorry. I couldn't get all that done with your order at one time. I had to push it to the side, but what you asked for is no problem. Let me just get you squared away. Now that all the other stuff is off the plate and my desk is clear again. Kind of. All right, let's go back. Marlene said, yes. Now Marlene, you know, I talk a lot. Yes to what? Marlene, you know, you know, my mind is like, ah! <laughs> okay, Marissa, and, and I love the second comb immediately between my hair and my baby girl. We've been missing some teeth, but the baby, but baby, that detangling comb is everything. Let me tell you. Oh, the detangling comb. Yeah, that's, that thing is serious. Actually, I'm going to get some more detangling combs and bring them back into inventory, y'all. So we just have to get more of them. All right, Miss St. Clair. All right. All right. All right. Hello. And hello, Susan. <laughs> um, so, um, Pat, um, just want to so let's see. Pat wants to know, hello tribe. Just wondering, Kanisha, if the styling, if the styling tools are coming back, Pat Sinclair, you already read my mind. Girl, you know, I already got it. I'm already on it. They're coming back. Yes, ma'am. I'll get them. I I'll get it together. I get me all the way together and get them. I just, and there's a couple things. A few of you have asked for, you've asked for some small special projects. Um, those projects are fine. I just couldn't do them with the vault. The vault is like, I realized this year, the vault is the most daunting thing we do the entire year. It is the hardest thing we do. And I'm like, Oh God, is it over yet? <laughs> is it over yet? But I love the products in it. I love you having them. It's just like, Ooh, it's a tall order, but we're good. We're good. We can get back to normal around here. Now, let's just make sure I give you all all of the things. So last but not least, let's look at how you finish. So let's we talked about the tools, right? You need your combs. You need your parting comb. It helps you get great sections. You need your curl defining comb. It makes sure you have gel on every strand of your hair. OK, if you don't have gel on all strands of your hair, it's not going to come out looking good. It's going to be a frizzy mess. We won't call it a mess. It'll be frizzy. It's going to be frizzy. Okay. It's not going to give you the look you were looking for. Nobody does all that work to walk away with frizz. So let's just, let's all agree. Right. Right. Okay. Now, as much as it seems like a lot, just remember, I have a lot of hair 
and I will show you smaller sections. When I'm actually working in my hair over time, I can take big sections and get it to look great. I can, but I've been following the system a long time. New to the system, still learning your hair, small sections, okay? Small sections with the parting comb, comb it through with your de curl defining comb and then rake it through with your fingers. That gives you a chunky curl. So I wanna just say this about the curl versus your fingers. The comb, the comb versus your fingers, the comb gets uh, gel on every strand of hair. Your fingers don't. Your fingers create clumps and chunky curls, okay? These are chunky curls. These have, were chunky curls until I started separating, but you get chunky pieces of hair because of how your fingers pull product through this section of my hair back here i don't i comb gel through it and then i immediately start raking my fingers through it and i create i pull my hair all the way out and let it snap back into a big chunky curl that's what the finger combing technique does it gives you just more of a natural look to your style but combing it through and leaving it is fine it will be defined you will have a lot of individual curl though and that's okay too nothing wrong with that right right if that's your look okay all right last but not least i just want to make sure that you all understand this extremely important part a lot of times people will watch the techniques they'll do everything they think they're doing everything we say and they're like i'm laying it beautifully and they are skipping drying under a hard top dryer now you got options of course you can use a diffuser of course you can air dry of course you can use a soft bonnet you can do all those things but the best result the ones that last two weeks involve the entire Urban Bella system and a hard top dryer at the end. Pull this baby out, get out your magazines, go watch, go read your, your, your magazines, get, go watch the latest episode of Your Honor, whatever you need to do, and sit under that thing until your hair is fully dry. If you get out before it's fully dry, it's going to be puffy. How puffy depends on how dry you let it get. Now, let's say you're fully dry and you're like, I can't do it. I've been under here all night. I got to get out. Okay, cool. If it's just the roots that are still wet and damp, give them a good blow dry. Blow dry them. Go ahead and make sure they're fully dry and obviously protect your style. I did not put on here the importance of your satin bonnet. I did mention it in your moisturizing system, but a satin bonnet or satin cap is critical to this whole process. Okay. And that is your styling system. I'm going to take a peek, see what kind of questions you all have. I'm going to put up our information. <clears throat> Oops, didn't mean to do that. Let me see if that'll go. There we go. Perfect. I'm going to put up our information here for those who are like, who are you? How do we find you? Um, don't forget the quiz. Take the quiz. If you just arrived, I did populate a quiz. So please, please take a peek. And... Find out how long your wash and go should last based on your current system. And if you don't get the two week results that you should be getting, if that's not what the quiz tells you, go through this process, go through the entire system, hydration, moisturizing and styling, and begin to identify what you're missing and start implementing the parts. And that's going to get you where you really, really wanna be, okay? And I can tell you that this is not a system like we just pulled out the air. We, we've been using it for 20 years and it works. We get results. Urban Bell is popular because of this system. People are like, what, what, what do we need to do? It's the system and the fact that we teach it, the fact that we explain it. So start with the quiz. That's the most important part. And just for everybody, I will go ahead and put the quiz back in the comments right now so that you have it. And I'm going to take a look at you, any kind of questions you all have, but that wraps us up for the night and again don't forget we'll be back next week and we're going to do the last part which is part four let's see let's put this in here for everybody and okay i had to dip i had to dip out my hair has movement I did. I really did it right. I I, I behaved. I, I I did a. Oh, I meant to tell. I'll I'll share this with you all really quick. You know what I did? Remember, did you all see the video I posted in the Urban Bella Beauty Group? When the video was a picture, I was like, I don't follow instructions well. I don't either. I I'm, I'm just gonna go and cop to it. I knew I needed. I'm so mad. My little hair. 
I have one thing in here. I have some piperita sitting on this table with me. And that's because Gerard brought it in here. He got excited and started using it. But I was telling you all, I knew I needed to use my organic coconut cream repair mask and I needed to skip lathering my hair for one shampoo. I still didn't, didn't skip lather, but I did do my organic coconut cream repair mask. Now I did mix it in with some bob so I didn't have any number four uh, readily available. I, I didn't ha I would have had to make some and I was not about to do that. So I had some Babasu left. I mixed my organic coconut cream repair mask with my Babasu conditioner. So I had a little cocktail and put that on and my hair did exactly what I expected. It gave me very, very beautiful curl definition. It was very easy to work with. As I've told you all, I don't have a steamer here. So I did steam on my last wash, but I didn't steam on this one. So I'm still using my heat cap, which, oh, my handy dandy heat cap that I never put away. That's always right here. I just had on my little heat cap and I love how this hair came out. I expect it to last. I expect my hair to last for at least, it's gonna last two weeks, I'll say that. I'm not gonna go that long. I'm gonna wash it when I, I'll wash it in a week, but I know it's gonna look great through the weekend and look great through the week. I can rely on it. I can trust it. I know I'm gonna look good. Somebody snaps a photo, I'm gonna be ready. <laughs> So that's what I'm looking for for my hair care system. That's what I want for you. And that's why we go over all of this information. So you will know, like, what am I, what am I skipping? What am I missing? What, what do I need to adjust? Where can I make a change? I've been using these products for a while. Maybe I need to go back to this. This always works for me. Let me go back to that. So very important, even within a hair care company, a hair care brand, there are certain things that are just gold for you. They just work well for your hair, even within the Urban Bella brand. And so I want you to know what those things are. And that's all we have this week. Um, again, any questions, any concerns, anything customer service related, just send it over to the team. If we, I do want to apologize. We have been struggling a bit to be on top of some things, but we are getting our sea legs back. Orders should be picking up and going out a lot faster and customer service responses should be a lot faster. Okay. Um, but if you need anything, just send us a message, give us an email, send us a text, whatever you need, and we will respond back to you. Have a great weekend and please share the quiz with other people who you know, who are looking to understand more about their natural hair. You can uh, have them come in um, and uh, click and, and take the quiz also. Uh, da, da, da. But that's all we got y'all. Have Oh, Jackie, hello Jackie. So I think I need to order another gel to make my cocktail. Yes, I have the Tamu Curls. Yes, yes, yes. That's why that sale is there. And I have the Tamu Curls that I received today. Yes, my hair is short, thin, and gray. Ah, ooh, so in the Northeast and we're cold. You're gonna love Tamu Curls. I did purchase a heating cap too. I'm trying. Jackie, you're doing it. You are doing it. And Jackie, I know you just added your gel. So welcome to the tribe. Everybody, please welcome Jackie to the tribe. Well, I, Jackie, I'm calling you Jackie. It says Jacqueline right there. Welcome Jacqueline to the tribe. I'm doing that because we have another Jacqueline, Jacqueline, who I, we call Jackie. So Jacqueline, welcome to the tribe. And yeah, I, I would, I would actually probably add extra firm. It's good to have because the temperature is about to change and the gels are on sale. Y'all don't forget the gel duo. Please get the gel duo. Here's why. Number one, when you order the gel duo, you get two gels. And when you get the two gels, you get to have, so you get two different ones. It's not the same as buying a 16 ounce. You get two different ones so you can cocktail. And with the sale, you're getting a sweet deal, a sweet deal. So order those, please order them, grab them. I, they will not be on sale again, probably till Christmas. So go ahead and get what you need now. This is the perfect time to try and buy. So thank you all so much for coming out. I enjoy you all so much. I love the lives. I enjoy prepping for them. And, um, uh, hey, Jackie, it's Linda Moore. So y'all know each other. Welcome. So I'm sorry about that, Jacqueline. Calling you Jacqueline. I'm calling you Jackie. You're welcome, Catherine. Yes, you're welcome. You're welcome, Deshaun. Yes, you all are so welcome. Thank you all. I'm so glad you came out. And if you need anything, y'all, you know where I am. Y'all know how to find me <laughs> easily. And I will be out hanging out in the group up until Sunday. But I will be on a brief vacation um, for a few days next week. But obviously, customer service will be answering any questions that you all have. So have a great one. And I'll chat with you all through from here on into our little spaces or through the course of the weekend. Bye. Now watch when this ends, y'all. I'm gonna be like, oh, I forgot to go over so and so. I didn't go over like ten pieces of information. <laughs> every time, every time. And why do I do this like extra talk things? Because I don't know where to find the it finish button. Bye.